All right, well, <clears throat> all this uh, really messed up stuff aside, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to this church here that we've already visited once because I'm very good at exploring things before I'm supposed to, I guess. We're gonna be meeting up with Sid and Jill. Worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. And how do we do that? Pray tell. Pleasure Houses, Oriflam. We just snuck into the capital like nothing. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably feels a little uncomfortable in a whorehouse. Cheer up, you two. Think of a safer place in the Empire than it. <laughs> Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Proceed. We get we'll drunk. In the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered <laughs> by the helmet. But that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit <laughs> idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. True. True and real. This isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but 
Nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. <laughs> Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. First, we have a gate to crash, and once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Here we go. Drake's Head, Oriflam, holy capital of Sandbrek. In majestic silence has Drake's head ever stood vigil over the empire of Sanbrek and its bejeweled capital. You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Proceed. Uh... Suppose we can see if there's any side quests real quick. Doubt it, but we'll check anyway. Look. Uh, nope. Think you can help? Guess it's time to do this. I like how it gave you a warning about the point of no return. <clears throat> you ready? You ready, everyone? All right. Three, two, one. doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. <laughs> this bodes well. Hmm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. I love this, what Sid. Plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. <laughs> right, we make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. Well, hold the phone. To Gotta look around for chests Easy. and stuff. Don't worry, the passage is empty. No chest back here. Look at this shit, man. And it's like pulsating with, with aether, you can see it. That's amazing.
chest. Ooh. The big bonus. Big money. That's how you do it. Very stealthy. They never stood a chance. <laughs> Looks like it. It'd be funny if they spotted me for doing that. Things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Oof. It's a lot of people. Captain, uh, two arms! Uh, summon the Kennedy! At once! It's over! I was talking about earlier. <laughs> that growing and changing. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Oh shit. To the talker. Then let's shut him up. Oh, sure.
I won't die. What the fuck? Is he? Oh, bollocks. He's gonna catch it. He's gonna catch it. What the fuck? Is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Don't let them get away. Full disclosure, that was probably the most fun I've had in a fight so far. Still a man. Look, it's a cash. All right, yeah, we're gonna look that up. A kashik. The irreversible change brought about by living beings' overexposure to aether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they may have once had, and become suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in their twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bears, are less likely to turn Akashic. Interesting. Lisa. It's no way for anyone to go. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Oh dear. Making sure there's no chests. Alright, now we're in the Copper Bell Mines. Breathe. 
deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us. Torgal. But I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Wouldn't that hurt Torgal? Torgal's not magic. Uh, hopefully the dog has plot armor. If anything bad happens to the dog, I don't think anybody could forgive this game. Anything back here? Imagine this is what it's going to be like uh, with a graphical update for 14, right? This is the new Copper Bell. <laughs> Richard Chess. Oh, we got. Akashic miners, huh? Oh, the miners. The gods. Too far gone. The ethers made monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? She said you could call her Isabel. They might. I think that there was a reason to up sticks and eat a blood with you. Man, those cards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Game's getting real interesting. Okay, so we can't get through there. Go around though. It's not just your screen for anyone watching this video after the fact. Uh, this is just a really dark place. Oh shit. Doesn't look that far. Right. Come on. Damn. Not quite as spry as I used to be. <laughs> I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a cheek clencher. War cry. Some opponents will use the ability war cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the attack up icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay. Here we go. Place is very cool. Ooh. Well, that's a boss. What's this way? Oh, just the dead end with that item that we couldn't grab earlier? And a chest. The hell? Oh, a nice little ambush. That's kind of cool. Give them all you've got, boy. Good boy, Torgal. Good boy. Wait a minute. There we go. Kashuk champion.
A new sword? Hello? Better. Coral, while razor sharp, is also painfully brittle, which is why its use in all but the most primitive of weapons is almost unheard of. This sword of unknown provenance, however, is possessed of a remarkable rigidity, while maintaining an edge that rivals that of Odin's blade. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah, dude. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Iconic powers? Three. I don't know why they thought what that would work. Two. Ask one. <laughs> oh, it's working. Hi. Seeing as you're trying now. Okay, then. Oh? No? Yeah. As if that was gonna keep us out. I was gonna say, you better light up that torch. Can't see shit. Getting kinda spooky now. Spelunking, Mr. Wayne. Spelunking. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. I have the feeling we're about to see some serious, uh, some serious sights here. Oh my god. Holy crap. I knew it would be big. But this. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, straight the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. <laughs> but how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Path of the Goddess. Look at the shit, man. Enemies?
Like, everything about this game right now is just giving me like a cold shiver down my spine. I love it. Oof. Definitely dodge that, but okay. scary. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. The Guardian. Damn. Now if that doesn't give you a sense of scale. I think this is our way out. Uh, one second everyone. Okay. Let's turn the AC on. It's getting a little, little toasty. It is a hundred plus degrees already. Outside. Uh, 
I wonder if we save up for that. Upgrade that. Upgrade limit break. Heat wave. Rising flames. Master for a thousand, okay. We're getting close to mastering the uppercut. Alright. Where did that come from? Nothing good. If I had to guess. A crystal dragon, really? Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Or is it the guardian? Dodge that. Dive bomb, probably. Clive, look out!
Don't let them get away. Nailed it. Yeah. A little exhausted after that one. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here, we should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm. If this all works and the blessing fades, Things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. <laughs> then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? With you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? I'm uh, looking for chests. That's that's what I'm waiting for. All right. I guess not. Thank you. Ooh, pretty. Oh, okay, there we go. It hasn't allowed me to do photo mode in quite a quite a little bit. Hey, chest on the other side. No, I'm just kidding. we go. It's 
beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. I don't know why you thought that would work. Uh, that didn't work. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taya's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. <laughs> He's gonna transform. This thing's creepy as hell, dude. What? I've been here before. Typhon has been repelled. This insolence shall not go unpunished. Dominant. You. You again. Where are you? What do you want? Still alive. Unleash the power within you. I don't answer to you. I'm leaving. 
one way or another. He's got the power of lightning and wind now. Oh. That power isn't yours. This music. Embodying Ifrit again. Controls for Ifrit are as follows. Melee attack, range attack, evade, jump. Ability mastery is shared with Clive. Backdraft. Press triangle after executing a fireball burst. The iconic version of Clive's magic burst to form a devastating melee finish known as backdraft. Wildfire. Use circle to sprint over an extended distance. Hold circle to lengthen sprint duration. Use left stick while sprinting to change direction.
This is so this is so badass. Uh-oh. Dodging like wildfire. This is so cool. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, I know he's not done. That's gotta be like phase one, right? I don't think so. There's still much more that we would see. Promising beginning, huh? So they're just toying with me, whoever this is? Ultra Instinct? What the fuck? gonna be like the original Typhon maybe? Oh no? Okay. And now show us your true strength.
come on. What you got now? This is incredible. Spirit bomb teleport. Oh shit. He was growing the spirit bomb the whole time. Love it. Is how you make a boss fight. A breath of fire, flames of rebirth. Reduces flames of rebirth cooldown time by 12 seconds. Holy crap, that's huge! Most suitable vessel, huh? Interesting. Where's Jill and Sid? Oh, there they are. Well, uh, enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. What the fuck? Now we shall become one. What the hell is this thing? 
I know who you are. And if you think, I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Oh, shit. Sure. The hell is that thing? Why do you deny your fate? Your purpose? Light it for him, dude. Try not to talk. Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. Then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he beats it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Denial. So this is how you would waste your will. Perhaps it is time you learn. Your place in this grand scheme. Ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Is happening. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. It is him, isn't it? I know you're there. 
Ultima. Ultima? You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? God. My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. Oh, shit. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. No. Of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. Five, wake up, dude. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We have come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Holy shit. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Clive, wake up, dude. Come on. There you go. He just sacrificed himself. Jesus. He used himself as a conduit for Ultima. Just try and get to my brother now. It's just gone. Meanwhile, the hideaway. Oh, shit, dude. Oh. Fucking Dalmechians, dude. Jesus. 
bastard! Gab! We've got to go! Not without this! Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? Who is that? That won't be necessary. Kupka? Okay, well, there he is. Rose simping hard for Benedicta. Fuck me! Where the hell are you, Sid? Where the hell are you? Damn, dude. Past nice. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. A nice steak, gift for your wife. Sausage, mm -hmm. all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. Curatives, curatives, restoratives. On the you like, sir. It's all fresh. Harmatives, curatives, restoratives. Harmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Harmatives, curatives, <laughs> restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. So I take it this is some time later and they know what happened to the hideaway? It hasn't really said yet. Unless it did say and I just missed it. Five years later, holy shit, dude. That's a time jump. Year of the Realm 878. So Clive's 34 now? It's good to see you, Sid. What? What have we learned? Called him Sid? Oh, he got his brand burned off. The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kupka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Why are they calling me Sid? I understand I have Rama's powers, but I'm not Sid, like hello. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. It's more of an honorary title.
Reese, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. All right, time to wolf some ass. I've had enough of you dog shits. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sit here! Oh. They had no clue what Sid actually looked like. Okay. So uh, basically Sid is anyone who can use, like, the lightning element. Thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Ramu's essence. Attuning with Ramu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorm, which rains Levin bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ability details are found on the abilities tab in the main menu. Ramu's feet. Blind justice can be used to launch a barrage of lightning bolts. Uh, barrage of ball lightning. At up to nine targets determined by locking onto them. So it's shot lock from Kingdom Hearts. Sid dies here. Of this, let him play with the kitten. Kitten huh? brought a pet. I get to fight a panther. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster.
Lighting shard. To hell with this. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Our friends are dead because of you. What? You hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> ah! <sighs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. All right. Welcome. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Hideaway. Amongst the unfading remnants of ambitious long forgotten. Oh, of ambitions long forgotten. Amongst the unfading remnants of ambitions long forgotten, do Clive and his companions forge a path to a better tomorrow. So they rebuilt the hideaway? Benumare? Central Storm. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. 
Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Ooh. Nice. Made a new hideaway on a crashed airship or something. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Otto survived. Welcome back, Sid. Not oh, so they call, call me Sid too, huh? Log, so we can call it Interesting. Again. I seen school boys swing harder. Nice. Yes, boys, train in combat. It's important. Ramu channels. That's a lot of points to upgrade the flames of rebirth. Hippocrates live? Um, have we any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. Molly used the last of the chocobo in the stew. A rat stone. How did how did like the key people survive? Coin purse weighing you down. Channeler's whispers automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effect will not trigger unless the ability to charge magic is learned. Crimson Tassels increases limit break generation amount by 3% when dealing damage. Cobalt Tassels increases by 6%. Golden Testament increases gill earned by 35%. Increases EXP by 15%. Actually not bad. Increases ability points earned in normal encounters by 20%. Damn, those might be worth having. Instantly restores all HP. That's expensive. Maybe we just get this. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It's better I'll be here. Come again. Let's uh gonna equip both of these, wages of Warcraft.
I'm not much bothered either way. Back are you? <laughs> You've forgotten already, because I haven't. Oh, he just stops reading? Or he stops talking, I mean? Still. What's that what? for, India? That's kind of weird. No scratches, right? the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid, his crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Damn. Guess this is my private quarters. coin can be traded for gill yeah, I got those gill bugs too I think right? I don't know perhaps I should just... and what can I do for you has it really been five years since we left that old place how time I flies it like it were yesterday we were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Kupka's lot turned up. Not that we knew it was them. They just poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere, there was. And a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries, try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh... Sell all valuables. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Plug. Oh. Oh my gosh. I was just sitting on cash, dude. Alright, so selling all valuables does actually sell just the items that are worth money. Finished, are you? I believe so. arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. 
There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my furless friend. All in good time. Alright. Vivian. I trust I'm not intruding. Who is this? Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, <laughs> to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? I'm sorry, is this just a new lore master or something? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, Recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. Oh, Harpocrates is still alive. Nice. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. You know who I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen Tario or Gav. Everyone seems so happy to see us. It's good to be home. Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On gods and men. A heavy leather-bound tome containing the findings of one 
Anaximander of Canver, a renowned theologian who spent most of his life chronicling Valisthea's diverse religious Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates, see if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries <clears throat> to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them, however well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. <clears throat> Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Agreed. <coughs> Who's this? Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. Ah. Uh. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. But she cut the flesh off my face? Wouldn't it have made more sense to like burn it or something? I don't know. What could I you have of thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern crowd. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Well, I just okay. The reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon entering the hideaway. Or returning to the hideaway. The Republic's Play. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. I'll see you are done to wear upon my return. I don't know what that means. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march. Leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But 
But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Wait, so they know he was there? He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. Oh. About that. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Crystals. To sit. Oh, there he is. Meanwhile. Northern Territories. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? I don't know, man. Master Clive, a moment, if you. Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Leave the rest. 